What up, what up, what up? Everybody, we still cooking. We cooking on a Thursday. Hope you enjoy putting your bowl season. We're going to keep it right here for all of the college news going out there. And why stop now? Act like you got some sense. Smash the like and subscribe button. This is your boy, Big Burr. Want to talk to you about Alabama. Alabama, they don't recruit. They just reload. Which prompts me to ask this question. Is that going to work in the new SEC? Alabama has the number two recruiting class in 2024 and 2025. 23 commits of a lot of three and four star kids in the talent. Also, they only had two decommits. That is phenomenal. And it's a complete reversal of what's going on in Florida. But again, that's another story for another day. You want to talk about Alabama's dominance is not only when you do the recruiting, but it's also who you have on the coaching staff. Tommy Rees, the offensive coordinator, six year at Notre Dame from 2017 to 2022. You got Kevin Steele, the defensive coordinator. Now, he used to be the defensive coordinator for the Auburn Tigers, and that was from 2016 to 2020. He had also got through doing a stint in Miami in 2022. He has produced 14 NFL draft picks and multiple number one first rounders. This is the coaching staff of Alabama. You've got Robert Gillespie. He's the running back coach. His 18 years in the, it, out here in the college atmosphere, recruiting and putting talent together, um, he's produced 13 NFL running backs and even produced Alvin Kamara, which was the NFL Rookie of the Year. The good folks of Tuscaloosa, you all are spoiled with an embarrassment of riches. I don't even know if, I mean, is this fair? We'll talk their schedule when they come back from a quick, unofficial sponsor of the show. Subway, eat fresh. Subway, eat fresh. Make sure you download the app, visit your local Subway, try some of the signature Subway sub series. I'm sure it's delightful. Subway, eat fresh. So, back to business. Next year, Alabama has Western Kentucky, USF. They play at Wisconsin, then they go on a bye week. They have Georgia, Vanderbilt, South Carolina, Tennessee, Missouri. They're on another bye week. LSU, Mercer, then they go to Oklahoma. Finally, in the Iron Bowl, they face Auburn. It's a really good schedule. It's a really good schedule. And I know a lot of the Alabama faithful, they're enjoying all the kudos and the valley hoes about, hey, look, look, you all have the, the, I want to say odds on favorite to be the national champions next year. It's very popular possible you all could be the national champions this year but the only pushback that i would actually give alabama when it comes to strength of schedule because this is the dishonest this is really the dishonest part about college football is that they'll say the strength of the out of the out of conference schedule so western kentucky isn't going to beat anybody western kentucky isn't going to win their conference western kentucky isn't going to go undefeated This was basically Western Kentucky taking a check and Alabama crushing their skulls. USF doesn't have a chance in beating Alabama. This was another come and get this check, come and get this whooping. Wisconsin? Wisconsin hasn't been Wisconsin since Ron Dane left. Wisconsin is struggling in the Big Ten. 
they haven't been anywhere near competitive in the last four to five years. Mercer, I don't even know where that's at. I have no clue where Mercer's at. And I'm sure the good folks who run that university and who run that program, they, they'll take that money because they, they believe that they're building something. Hey, if you like it, I love it. Oklahoma, Oklahoma can be beat by anybody. And they can play with everybody. But they almost lost to Satterfield and Cincinnati. Let's get serious. Let's get serious. They almost lost to Satterfield and Cincinnati. They don't have a prayer of beating Alabama. None of those programs will be winning programs in 2024. And it's not going to be where they end up it's going to be what they were doing when Alabama played them and they were doing absolutely nothing some of these are in the front half of the season Wisconsin Western Kentucky uh, USF they're all in the front half of the season so they would automatically start off the season with an L the back half of the season your Mercers your Oklahoma's they're not going to do anything. They're not going to do anything. I don't even think Oklahoma is in a conference. I have no idea what, what's going on with them and that. But then there are some teams in conference that don't have a prayer of beating Alabama also. Vanderbilt, they're not going to do anything. Vanderbilt is another victim. South Carolina, victim. Tennessee, victim. Missouri kind of puts up a fight. But they're victims. Let's not... Let's not complicate the wheel. The only two teams to look out for is LSU and Georgia. And the Crimson Tide, they have bye weeks before they run into Georgia, which is early. And wow, that game is going to be right out of the gate because the number one recruiting class in 2024 is the Georgia Bulldogs. The number three team is Ohio State. So you're going to get to see Georgia and Alabama very early. And that's going to have national national champion playoff contention right then and there. Also, LSU, they play LSU late. Can Kelly get those guys in shape to come back and do this thing again? I mean, that is marquee. And that's not to go ahead and say Ole Miss and Kentucky and Florida. They don't even play those guys. They got two heavy hitters on the schedule. And many people on the outside of the SEC feel like looking in, the SEC is only Alabama, Georgia, LSU. And Nick Saban is saying in 2024, if that's how you feel, I'm going to give you what you you want I'm going to give you your Georgia I'm going to give you LSU that is phenomenal football but I could be wrong let me know what you all think as always share like and subscribe to content this is Big Vern and I